the interior of the house was dark as night. The wooden floorboards dirty. The floral pattern papered walls peeling. The place felt like death. It seemed to exude malignancy from the very grain of its dubious structure. Nicole? Henry sounded hushed and uncertain. With a sudden gust of wind, the front door slammed shut. Henry just about jumped out of his skin. He stood panting, shaking his head. What the fuck is wrong with me? What am I even doing here? Dead FM, broadcast live from the other side. He laughed somewhat nervously, eyes flitting about the small living room. On the left side, a door stood closed. On the right, an old red recliner rested in front of a data television set. Aside from a couple of faded paintings on the walls, a lighthouse and river scene respectively, the room was otherwise bare. From the closed door on the left came a sound of a knob being turned. Henry spun on his heels, instantly tense, breath held captive in his lungs. It swung open with a creak. He could see nothing but dead shadows. After several strained heartbeats, Henry could make out the vague shape of a woman. He was utterly incredulous when her face swam in a focus. Nicole? Nicole? The woman stepped out of the shadows. 